gonna take time Whole lot of precious time It's gonna take patience and time mm, To do it, 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 to do it right child I got my mind set on you I got my mind set on you Good morning, Central Elementary. Today is Tuesday, August 29th, and it is going to be absolutely beautiful all week long. Today it's going to be high of 84 degrees, sunny, and a 7% chance of rain, so pretty much zero. All right, for lunch today, you can expect to have a hot dog, grilled ham, and cheese, and that's it. All right, here is your daily joke. This one's great. You're going to love it. Why should you not let a bear operate the remote? Because he will keep pressing the pause button. Get it, pause. All right. Birthday is today. We've got two. And it's going to be Gatlin Driver turning nine years old and Hudson Reed turning nine years old. Both of you have the same birthday. And you're both born, born on the same day, same year. So... I wonder if you guys are born in the same hospital. You don't have to ask each other. Happy birthday. On to our special announcements. The Lady Marshalls basketball camp is coming up. And if you are interested in that, we've got some more information. You guys can check out this information on Class Dojo as well. um, As well as our social media pages. And you can let your parents know about that. If you are interested, if you are a girl and would like to participate, then those days are September 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th. You do not have to attend all of them. You can pick and choose, but it is cheaper if you attend them all. Great opportunity to learn some basketball skills. Third through fifth grade, you guys will be star testing sometime this week. We ask that you guys please give your best effort on that assessment. That is going to kind of show your teachers where you are at. And you guys will be able to see how much you have grown throughout the entire school year as we get to the last month of school. So you're going to be setting some goals based off of what you score on that test. And you're going to then focus on learning for the rest of the school year. That way you can hopefully accomplish your goal um, of whatever you choose that you want to accomplish. Also, School Pictures is coming up. It is going to be September 11th. I'll mark that on your calendar. Also, we're going to be pushing that out through social media. That way your parents can mark that as well. But you want to make sure that you have your hair all did. Make sure that you look all spiffy. And looking nice for September 11th. On to our expectation reminders. We're talking about the hallway and what is expected of you when you're in the hall. Yesterday we talked about being ready in the hall. Today we're going to talk about being respectful in the hall. So make sure that you have a designated person to hold the door. Usually that probably be the first person um, in your line. Just hold the door open for everybody else. Be kind. Allow other classes to pass you by. Um, pass pa- pass by in the hall so you don't want to be going through you know the middle of the hall or going around just make sure that you allow others to pass by and when you come to the four-way stop look in all directions make sure you keep your hands your feet and any objects to yourself you know I think yesterday I saw someone walking down the hall but they were dragging their shoulder on the like the wall the entire time Leave, leave that wall alone. Stay off that wall. You should always be on that gray tile, that gray stripe in the hall. And if you are walking on that, you won't be touching anything that you shouldn't be. So make sure that you have your hands off that wall. We don't want to ruin it. Keep it nice and clean. And always make sure you stay on a voice level zero to respect all of the classes and the friends in those classes um, so they can focus on learning. So make sure that you guys are being respectful in the hall. And if you are, it's a great opportunity to earn some positive dojo points. On to our weekly quote as we wrap things up. Do what you can with what you have where you are. That is right now, today. Do what you can with the knowledge that you have 
at school. So do your absolute best at all times, giving your best effort. Everybody can do that. So I hope that you are doing that and make the most of today and the days ahead. So at this time, we're going to go on to our pledge. So if you would, please stand for the pledge. This is a respectful moment. So we're on a voice level zero. We're standing still. Place your right hand over your heart and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And while you're standing, let's say the school motto. The key to success begins with me, respectful, responsible, and ready I'll be. Have a great day, boys and girls, and always know that you are loved. I got my mind set on you. I got my mind set. Good morning.